You get out of the way. Just get out of the way. I, I can't see my TV. I don't really wish to be nice because you interrupted my game there. So we are on an equal level playing field, which you have set at the moment. You have set that bar. So what I will say at the moment, you will look absolutely ridiculous in your suit. Who on earth goes to a game store dressed in a three-piece suit? And if I know my suits, which well, I do, I've seen it on many games, uh, you look like you've had that bespokely made which <laughs> makes it even more absurd the fact that you are wearing a bespoke suit in a game store after hours late at night to purchase some games or play some games now who does that well you are the very first I think you, if you've got the wrong shop, are you meant to be in the game store? I wouldn't want you to be in the wrong place, you know, wrong place, wrong time, etc, etc. It's just we don't have, we have the occasional, uh, shall we say, stragglers who come into the game store. And let's just say they're not really gamers and we could sniff them out very easily. And then we have obviously the other end of the spectrum, which appears to be you, who comes into a game store wearing a shoot, a shoot? A suit, a three-piece suit, a bespoke suit, and that's highly irregular. That's not really what you wear for game stores. I'm sorry. Is this situation a joke to you? Uh, despite what just happened to begin with all of that you have still opted to stand in front of the television when I'm trying to play a game what kind of game store do you think this is one where I serve people uh, how dare you <laughs> absolutely not 
that is not that kind of game store here. We don't deal with customers in that way. No. Usually you make a long appointment and there's a waiting process. And if you're part of the select few in, or several or many in this area who become accustomed to this game store and we, of course, in turn take a shining to that individual, then they are allowed instant access and everything to this game store and all the offers and perks that it has to offer. You're not in that uh, circle of trust, shall we say. And uh, yeah, so coming in here trying to expect some sort of service is not how it works. In fact, I should probably help you to the exit. Would you like me to? It would be more than it. You're here to board, buy some games. Of course you are here to buy some games. Do you not understand sarcasm? Clearly not. Well, please do enlighten me. What sort of games do you play? You know, what sort of what sort of games? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got some games, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you play those games? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah occasionally, yeah, yeah. And these games, what what, what, you, what sort of level would you profess yourself to be in? Is that any high level, medium, low, below average? Lower than low, or just plain noob, uh, uh, quite high, <laughs> which equals noob. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it sounds like you've got all of the consoles. I remember you. I remember you. You came in here before, didn't you? Years ago. And you bought a PlayStation console, didn't you? So you thought that this three piece suit that you had purchased here would. In fact, trick me. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid the chest is up. And you do not, no matter how much you wear, you do not trick me into thinking that you are in fact a gamer. You are not that at all, are you? You are the noob. And no doubt you still are the noob. So you bought that PlayStation, okay? It was a PS5, wasn't it? Very PS4 with a uh, PS5 controller as well, wasn't it? Or probably PS, PS4 or PS3 controller. I can't remember. But I'm sure that you didn't notice a difference there. No. Right. So you've got your PS consoles, I seem to remember. And you've got your games. Have you come in here recently? Sometimes I have uh, some other chap. He's incredibly rude. Who works here? Short hair, you know. Oh, you have. So you know all about the game store. Why didn't he serve you some games? You what? You played some games in our store? After hours? What? With the exclusive club? One moment, please. club that that person what that really nice person no 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 the really horrible person no 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 they're horrid they look ridiculous they're not really smart and really nice I, I, no. well you let them in you shouldn't have Of course, that is one of the policies we have here. You enter the game store, then you enter the, 
the secret binding contract, um, which is the unwritten contract, uh, which we have between gamers and things. And you've already professed yourself or confessed yourself to be a gamer, which means you're already automatically, legitimately entered into that unwritten contract where you have to purchase something when you're into the store. So hopefully you've got intention to buy something. Oh, good. And what was that? You like the look of what's on the table there? Well, that would be the sort of retro side of games, you know, things to take whilst you're on the go, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, they, they've literally just come in now, and I haven't bought them They're up from the dusty storeroom at all to try and sell them off to people like you. No. Uh, these are these are brand new selection of games that we have here. How about that? I get a couple there for you. Oh my goodness! Well, even though these are ridiculously ex expensive because they're retro and obviously you know they're highly sought after, they are the best consoles, handheld consoles that take on the go, play games, retro games. Probably the first games which you played was on a console or something like that. So you know. That's the foundation of your gaming happiness. And you'll probably want something to replicate that as well if you've got the other consoles. And every game has got one of these. I should probably show you, shouldn't I? Yes, well, I expect you want to buy them all. One second. on the back there because this is a high class 
chemical source so that means you can take that out and you won't have an appropriate charger to charge up that very different battery but of course you can plug it in to here as well and charge it via a cable you have volume control there on and off switch okay so as you can tell by this particular game it has all those retro things which you love from games and literally if you liked mario or super warrior or donkey kong or something like that this carries on those themes in a perfect gaming style there as well so if you're looking for something which is just going to be easy to keep in your pockets take out play a game knowing that you really are a retro original gamer you know one that everyone probably is supposed to be when you have such a crappy game i mean such a unique game as this one then this is certainly going to be the game in console which you want so let's have to listen to what buttons there because it's the sounds of it when you know it's a high quality sound then you know it's a high quality product okay so let's have a good listen sounds absolutely fantastic so good but not only that you also have this accessory here so this is an add-on for your game console so you can literally just plug it in the bottom there okay and then you have extra larger buttons there that you can use to play on your gaming console there too if you wanted something to put the screen further away and then use these buttons for that so you get the actual clicky noises i think this is going to be something which you really like okay so would you be interested in uh, an original gaming console such as this? Okay, something that might interest you. Okay, just taking into consideration our gaming policy here. Okay, let me just show you. And then we have X there, very good. That's great. And of course, none of the buttons really work. It's very temperamental. Um, you would be interested in, of course you'd be interested in, because this would instantly make you look like a very professional gamer one that everyone will want to know and, and be and and probably copy you this is certainly an attractive piece which i think would look really good with you planet would you like this one perfect oh no no it's so great things I could interest you in. Well, this game console, which of course is like a game one, it has the games built in, but sometimes you want to have a selection of original style games like you would have on a Game Boy. Slot it in your Game Boy or Game Boy Advance or something like that and then play away. And you get to actually hold the games individually. Of course I do that, of course. Do you remember this? I think I might have been playing it first time we actually met. In here I have all of the originals of the games that you want. The black and white Game Boy. We have Pokemon Red and Blue when it first came out. We have Star Wars games. We have Wario Land. All of the Mario. Everything you want. Star Wars. Attack of the Clones. That's mine. 
and because it's exceptionally retro then I look exceptionally cool with it and that's what I'm trying to do pitch you out with some original retro things to try and make you look a bit better and maybe sort out this complete well that interesting look you've acquired A cheap Game Boy. Uh, this is one that has has undergone some some challenges, shall we say, and some upgrades. And this is more so uh, a gaming Game Boy kit that we have here. And someone who is clearly as intelligent as you are would perhaps like to have the opportunity and task to actually put in together this rattly. Game Boy to turn it into something special there for you. So this is kind of a kit that we offer here at the store. You have some screwdrivers. You have your case with extra rascally bits in there. So that would be your screws in there too. And that's located in inside the console, not in the gaming section. So extra difficult for you to locate this. Okay. screws there for you to put it together we have all of your buttons to put together in there as well and these are rubberized too okay and then we have the actual buttons to put over the rubber bits there and these will go over those parts so you'll be able to have resistance when you push down on those buttons there and this is all in the start of your game board and then we have your connectors there for your batteries with spring connectivity there too and then that's the color of the Game Boy and then we have some screens in here as well which you can put together and then let me just get that open because this is the really really good bit so if you love the sort of you know the retro stuff then you can make your very own Game Boy Advance there so this is a kit piece and this is for I, I tend to say experienced gamers um, but also perhaps newbies like yourself uh, might want to give something like this a go and work from the ground up uh, to become competent enough to be a good gamer to know how your Game Boy is put together etc etc but this is a really cool way to play your games and then you put something together and then you're playing from it so this is a nice little piece that we have here an offer in our store and something that we definitely haven't been unable to sell for about 20 years so if that's something that you're interested in oh yes oh absolutely you're gonna absolutely love this so much i mean it's so easy to do it honestly of course it comes with knowing instructions because it's because it's so easy and self-explanatory so i think this could be a really great, a great endeavor for you. Excellent, excellent. How much? Oh, I don't know what that price is yet. You can't put a price on these things just yet. something which is a little bit more put together for you. This is a particular Game Boy which I think you'll like. This is the 400 game 3 inches TFT 8-bit classic Game Boy. So it's meant to replicate a sort of a PlayStation console but of course trick you into getting it when it's actually not. Here is another 
promoting game Game Boy device, which includes an array of classic games which you will love. So, back in the day, say when I used to play with these games and things like that, I mean, of course, I still play with them. Um, I used to have like Star Wars, different Star Wars ones, okay, familiar with that? And I used to have all these games which would have one game on there, and it was literally a click, 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 click sort of game. This will include about 20 games on there just in this console built in. Okay, you've got your battery in the box, that same star you put in there, and you can charge it through power, powering up with the power cable there. Simply turn on and off there, and you've got all of your games built in there. Okay, so just to show you there as well, so open up, get the battery in. You can opt for different languages because that's, of course, how it advances. So we have Super Mario, Mario, Super Mario Bros, Dr. Mario, Mario Bros, Turtle 1, Turtle Fighter, and Contra. And there. Okay, so we'll just show you. We'll go over to Mario. There, we just go onto Player Game. Okay. There we go. We'll just click all the buttons there until something works. There we go. There we go. And off we go. So. If you love those original games, okay, then of course you're going to absolutely love this and really have a great time playing it. So just an example for you there. So literally, if you want a game that you could literally just pull out of your pocket and enjoy, this would be a game which would be perfectly suited for you. And every single person will just think, wow, that person is the essence of Retro Corners. I'm sure they will think that. Not think a complete sado dressed in a suit playing an old retro game. So would this be something that you'd like? It would. Oh, that's so great, yeah. A price. Oh, once again, you don't need to worry about price at the moment. You can't really put a price on these things because they're so original and retro and perfect. style screen which looks like it's been reused already and of course might also be damaged there too but that's one of the charms of this particular console so you'll notice when you turn it on and off you will get slight coloration on the top here and it would go around the edge here as well which is pretty cool and these are in fact buttons so say like a playstation controller you have your l1s l2s r1 and r2s you have the same with this as well so you have an arrangement of all of your games kind of set out to be like a desktop computer there as well copying logos but of course tricking you into thinking they're something which they're not and then you have all of your games on there as well what's perfect about this particular game you have all of your buttons there but you also have a tiny joystick which feels like it really isn't going to help you that much but it will and uh, that's really good there as well have your start select buttons here which are of course integral okay and then also on there we have your directional buttons there 
two, which we'll just turn off there for the time being. So you have everything that you need to really enjoy some games on there. This particular console has a larger screen, so you really can literally take it anywhere, put it farther away and play close up to have a widescreen effect, you know, that sort of thing. Have all your buttons on there. You know, it's one of those consoles which is really sought after, but really, really rare. So if you wanted to get a game like this, then I'm, this is something that you should probably uh, get now because, I, yeah, this is the last one we have in stock here as well because they all sold out as soon as I bought them out recently. The last batch, they just went like that. Yeah. So this also includes little nice touches there as well. These earphones, which certainly look like they haven't been... Uh, used or have any sort of dirt on them or anything like that and what i love about them is even the, the earphones are really uh, retro looking and and feeling as well and they are made just like your old-fashioned earphones there too so they're even probably gonna keep the retro sound quality there also and if you like electric shocks then this particular earphone because it's got the mesh metal there too then you can be sort of almost guaranteed that you might experience something like that to enhance your gaming experience there too so little touches like that which this really includes the full package of that retro gaming experience well would it be something that you would like that of course is the question uh, you've already got a couple of game boys and things like that but something like this really would I'm sure be a great benefit to you and your gaming experience you would that's so perfect great for that one. Oh, um, it is the last one, but we'll get on to prices later. So, the games which you've purchased at the moment, the gaming consoles have games built in, but if you get your, your homemade game boy um, up and running, you of course are going to need to have some games in there. So, like my very original game boy here, you'd have the space on the top your games to go in okay so at the back there and then you'd slot your game in there so that's a very original retro old school way of, of, of playing which i'm sure you'll want to continue there as well in here of course i have all of the console instructions so like the Pokemon games and everything you need to know so Pokemon gotta catch them all so the contents and everything you need there so all the things that you, you would want from your game so you'll be wanting a sort of similar experience there too so and then the games will come in and out like so okay so I'd probably have Star Wars, the new droid army in there as well, and off I go, this one's not for sale, no, this is really premium. So, what we have here is a collection, even sort of old Game Boy style game, of all of your favourite games. thing with this game is that it's it's a trick and where it makes you think that you've got all of these games in there in fact just have one here and all you need is just one of these cards and this includes all of these games here you can purchase different games as well there but this particular card includes these games which are on here okay so this card contains all of these games 
on here. Okay, so you've got like Pokemon, Pokemon Conquest, other classic ones, Zelda on there as well, Super Mario Bros, other Pokemon 1, 2, uh, Zombies, you know, Grand Theft Auto as well. And these are the games that you can enjoy on your Game Boy. So this is kind of a necessity to have with your collection of games. Here. And I think if you're going to build your Game Boy there, then you're going to want to play some amazing games on there, even though that this might not be compatible at all with that game. If you maybe, if you modify it at all, then you'll probably need something like this, which contains all of those games. Plus, this is very rare uh, piece that we have here as well, and it's not very often I have these sorts of pieces in my collection in the shop. So this would be sort of a purchase which I'd recommend on getting. Oh no, I, I don't need any because I've got my original Game Boy. So would you be interested in something like this as well? Uh, yeah, music to my ears. serve you with these, someone who is so uh, uneducated in the way of retro game consoles and, and the difference between originals and uh, rubbish, but of course you're going to look absolutely fantastic and have so much fun with all of your new games and consoles and everything, which is just going to be so great for you, and what an absolute pleasure it's been to serve you and make sure that you have got all of the games that you need to enjoy yourself and have fun. So is there anything else I can help you with tonight? Or can I get back to my game? Okay, and I'm going to place these here and we'll get them packaged up and you can get the payment for them as well. I mean, these are, you know, very expensive and we might be looking at three figures or something like that, but of course you can't put a price on these these amazing gaming retro consoles okay you just can't do it everybody knows that you know it's the old things which are the most fun and it brings back the nostalgia and the gaming experience which we which were our foundations which built upon all the gaming stuff that we have now and, and love and play all the time so is there anything else that i can help you with no okay so before we get with that I've just got to finish this game here, so do you remember at the start there, if you can, you know, just just a little bit and then I can and then we get onto your things because I have served you for a period of time so you can have a little decency just to let me play this game over here, okay? Does that sound great? Okay. Sorry, D did you not hear me? Is uh, are you a practical joke or something like that? Uh, it's just so you were in the way of the television again. Wow, you you really are quite a charming individual, aren't you? A very very likable person. Great. Well, how about that I just get you on your way there? Okay, so thank you so much for coming into my store and purchasing all of those things. That was great. I hope you enjoy them. Take care of yourself. Cheerio.